This is an excerpt of a book called The Madness of Crowds, Gender, Race and Identity by Douglas Murray. Page 116. If you tell Google that you would like to see images of black men, the images that come up are all portrait photos of black men. Indeed, it takes more than a dozen rows of images before anybody who isn't black comes up in the images. By contrast, a search for white men first throws up an image of David Beckham, who is white, but the second is of a black model. From there, every line of five images has either one or two black men in the lineup. Many of the images of white men are of people convicted of crimes, with taglines such as Beware of the average white men and White men are bad. As you begin to go down this rabbit hole, the search results become increasingly absurd or at least they are absurd if you are expecting to get what you wanted from your search, though you can very soon work out which directions the misleading goes in. If you search on Google Images for gay couple, you will get row after row of photos of happy gay couples. They are handsome gay people. Search for straight couple, by contrast, and at least one to two images on each line of five images will be of a lesbian couple or a couple of gay men. Within just a couple of rows of images for straight couple, there are actually more photographs of gay couples than there are of straight ones, even though straight couple is what the searcher has asked for. The plural throws up an even odder set of results. The first photo for straight couples is a heterosexual black couple. The second is a lesbian couple with a child. The fourth a black gay couple and the fifth a lesbian couple. Why just three lines down of images requested for straight couples is everyone gay? it gets predictably stranger. For straight white couple, the second photo is a close-up of a knuckle with hate written on it. Asking for this in the plural, straight white couples, throws up a range of images so bizarre that it is clear that something is up. But try these searches in other languages and apply them to Google search engines in the countries where these languages predominate and you get a different set of results. So for instance, Googling for white men in Turkish just turns up lots of images of little white people or men whose surname happen to be white. Google image searching in French seems to turn up the same phenomenon as that it did in English. But in general, the further away you go from European languages, the more you get what it is that you ask to see. It is in the European languages that these strange results come up. And it is in English that the results are most pointedly, clearly, in your face, just not what you ask for.